Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about cache memory, how it operates, different types of cache memories and how it helps in increasing the performance of your PC. So stay tuned and let's start. Let's understand what is a cache. Cache is a small and very fast temporary storage memory which is designed to increase the speed of data transfer in a device. When your operating system, CPU or web page requests any data, then it first searches the data in the cache and if it is not there then it offers other memory options. Now when the data requested is found in the cache memory then it is called cache hit and if it is not found in the cache memory then it is called cache miss. The ratio of cache hit is called cache rate. If the cache rate of a device is high, then the performance of the device will be better. Now cache stores data which are most likely to be requested in the near future. But the question arises, how cache determines this which data will going to be asked or requested in the near future. Cache does this with the help of some algorithms. Some of the algorithms are like LFU, least frequently used. The data which are least frequently used are removed first. Cache lists the data as per their frequency of use and the least frequently used data is removed first. Similarly other is LRU that is least recently used. Data which is least recently used is removed first. Other algorithm are MRU that is most recently used. It is just reverse of LRU where the data which is recently used is removed first. Let's look at the different types of methods which are used to write data in a cache memory. The first one is write around cache where the data is stored in the primary storage memory that is your hard disk and it is not stored in the cache memory. The biggest advantage is that your cache memory do not have to take any additional burden for the new data. However, the disadvantage is that if you try to access the data and since it is not there in the cache memory, it, it will take some time to access the data from the primary memory source that is your hard disk. The second is write through cache where the data is stored both in the cache memory and the primary storage memory that is your hard disk. Since data is stored in two places so it is it will take some time. The biggest advantage is that since data is present in the cache memory you can quickly access the data. The third way of writing the data is write back cache where the data is first stored in the cache memory and later it is stored in the primary storage memory that is your hard disk. Since data is stored in the cache memory so you can easily access the data. But the biggest disadvantage is that since the data is stored in the temporary storage memory that is your cache memory there is always a chance of losing the data. Now let's talk about different types of cache memories and how it helps in increasing the performance of your PC. Today in most of the computers you must have heard L1 and L2 memory. What these are actually let's understand this. L1 is the smallest among the three and it ranges from 2 KB to 64 KB and it is the fastest among the three cache memories. It uses the largest transistors among the three. The second one is L2 cache memory which ranges from 256 KB to 512 KB. It is faster than L3 but slower than L1 cache memory. The transistor size is smaller than L3 but bigger than L1. The last one is L3 which is largest among the three it ranges from 1 MB to 8 MB and it is the slowest among the three. However, it is faster than the random access memory. Now let's understand the operation of these memories with the help of an example. Suppose you have lost your mobile, so you will first search your mobile in your pockets. You can compare your pockets with L1 memory, which is smallest in size and fastest. If you do not find your mobile in your pockets, then you will search for other locations like your work desk, your bag, etc. This is your L2 memory which is larger than L1 and slower than L1. Thirdly, if you do not find the mobile in your work desk or bag, you will search your mobile in your entire home. This you can compare with L3 which is largest in size and slowest among the three. Computers also operate in the same way. If it requests any data, then it will first search the data in L1 memory. If it is not there, then it will opt for L2 and finally L3. But before purchasing any CPU, do not consider cache memory as the only factor for determining the speed because there are lots and lots of other factors which determine the speed of your CPU. Like say the processor speed, the RAM it is using, 
the graphics processing unit it has and the underlying architecture of the processor. So that's all for cache memory. Thanks for watching my video. If you really like my video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more such videos, please subscribe my channel. If you have any query regarding this, feel free to reach me. Do comment in the comment box. And until next time, stay safe and bye bye.